With independence, Biden has an overall approval rating of around 40 percent. Now, on the Republican side, the race for the White House is speeding up. Former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley seeing a surge in support. She is now tied for second with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Both are behind former President Trump. Joining me now live to break it all down is former chairman of the South Carolina Republican Party, Caden Dawson. Mr. Dawson, thank you so much for joining us. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Hey, I got to ask you straight out the gate, how significant is this surge as we near the third presidential debate uh, with us, uh, former Senator Haley? Nikki, it's a big deal for Nikki Haley. The governor has, has performed well. She's introducing herself to the country, and she understands that she offers a message of hope and help is on the way. That, that's what's selling right now, and, and she spent a lot of time in the early early three states. I'll break it down if you'll give me a moment of what we're looking at from 2016 and why we're very hopeful that Nikki Haley will have the chance to be the next president of the United States. In 2016, in Iowa, Ted Cruz took 52,000 votes and Donald Trump got 46,000 with Rubio 43,000. A total of about 190,000 people voted. Very tight universe. Um, the winner there doesn't always become the nominee. Most of the time it does not. Then you move on to New Hampshire. About 210,000 people are going to vote there. In 2016, Trump did 101,000. Running about John Kasich did 44,000. Uh, Ted Cruz did 33. Jeb Bush did 31,000. So my point is that there were four left in that field. Started with nine. Then you hit South Carolina, her, her home state. Um, uh, uh, 815,000 people voted in 2016, with Trump gathering 241,000. 33% of the vote. Uh, 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 Rubio jumped in at 166,000 with 22%. Cruz with 165,000. So the, the, the end of the story there is this field is going to win or probably a little quicker than the one in 2016 did. Uh, Trump's number's pretty hard for the time being, but we've seen several things right now. We've seen independent Republican voters who usually vote in the general taking a look at Nikki Haley. We are seeing hope and optimism selling instead of discord, sniping, and griping. And we also know in South Carolina, when Nikki Haley gets challenged or hit, she's usually at her best. So I suspect this next debate, they'll come after. She's in number two. Um, uh, I would warn them all, be careful what you do. Nikki is a fierce debater, and she loves this country and understands that the world is a very dangerous place right now. And I think, and Mr. That, Dawson, just to piggyback, to piggyback on uh, that, to uh, make sure that they watch out, I think that we can agree that Mr. Ramaswamy uh, learned that lesson, unfortunately, on a public space yes, stage. But we also know that, uh, you know, former Governor Haley is also very strong in foreign policy. Uh, as we move forward to both New Hampshire and Iowa, if she were to get uh, to South Carolina, is that where you believe that she could possibly tie the former president? I do. I think so. Uh, it, it just depends. We, we, again, we start off, as you know, and, and have reported before, we start off with two small universes and then jump to, you know, 800 to a million people voting. Mm -hmm. That changes it. And those are all Republicans. We don't register by party here. Uh, anybody can come in the Republican Party. So One thing everybody forgets right now, and, and, and mind you, I was chairman for eight years of the state party here. Democrats don't vote in Republican primaries and Republicans don't vote in Democrat primaries. That is a myth. Uh, it just never happens. But what you will find is people in a race when there is not another presidential race, and, and, and I am not critical of the Democrats or I'd be a hypocrite, because a sitting president normally does not have to go through a primary season. Uh, George Bush did. We made sure of that in South Carolina, and I was the chairman then. And, and, and Donald Trump didn't have to. And, and jo Joe Biden doesn't have to go through a primary. So you, you, got, you got these single primaries coming up. Uh, without any Democrat action, and that will change some of the numbers because there are some people that will probably come in and vote. That's going to be the sidebar on what happens, and certainly you're going to come down to the rumble in South Carolina where it's Nikki Haley, Donald Trump, and Again, we had six last time. We don't predict six this time. Mr. Dawson, you know uh, how TV don't. works. I've got less than a minute. I need you to give me a little bit. What do you see uh, as her being able to break away from the pack? What needs to happen at this next debate? Well, she, once they attack her, Nikki's going to have to perform, and she will. 
Hey, oh, dude, that's a sound bite right there. Caden Dawson, thank you so much. You wrap that up for me nice and tight and put a bow on it, just like we do in the South. I appreciate that. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.